Whoa! What the devil's this? Get out of my house! Watch it, and leave the woman alone. What the f She's my betrothed! But I'm not your property! I love her! I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel! Whoa! Slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass! Shut off, or I'll split your skull! My friend asked you nicely, so please be courteous in return and hear him out, or we'll settle this another way. All right. Talk. Hubio, right? Polly's told me so much about you. She said you're erudite and have an open mind. You said that? Well, there's a truth to it. My mind's the open salt. But its open saltedness ends when my betrothed starts wagging her ass around brothels. Get out of here, both of yous. Polly's not going anywhere. Let him finish. There's no brothel involved. You see, friend, Geralt just hit the nail on the head. For what you have there is the old publicity placard. Old? Very. From a time when my establishment was under different management. I, however, would never let any indecency take place in my cabaret. My very reputation precludes it. So, what's all this about? Your betrothed is a first-class artiste, and I want to offer her a position worthy of her talents. She's to be my choreographer, and that in turn means she'll receive a share of the proceeds from every performance she... choreographs. You mean to say... coin? And fame. No flirting required. You have my word. Oh. Suppose... in that case... I knew you'd agree. It's settled then. See you at the Rosemary, Polly. Well, I'm off. I'll catch up to you. Whew. Never expected that to go so well. You handled it well, Dandelion. Man was body in your hands once you called him erudite. In negotiation, as in combat, the key is to find your opponent's weak spot and exploit it to the hilt. So, time to head back? I've still got to stop by Rotlix. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago, but Hubio came across the old version. Plowing artists got some serious explaining to do. Who's Rotlick? Never heard of him? Hank Rotlick, famous portrait artist? Commissioned a portrait artist to paint your placards? Henry's an old friend, needed the coin. And I decided we needed new placards to promote the opening performance. Seats won't fill themselves, you know. I'll go see Rotlick. You head back to the Rosemary, or Priscilla will have my head. Really? You'd go? No, said that for the hell of it. Tell me where he lives. Portside. See you soon. Ah, uh, nothing hurts as much as life. Looking for Rodlick. You ain't alone. Damn halflings in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine before the carcass is picked clean. There's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Feeding time's first come, first served. You're not gonna rob him. Strange, don't recall asking your permission. Get him, Fred! Oh! You regret this, mutant. Tell me what you want. 
damn it! Placards. There ain't no plowing placards here. And Rodlick, where's he? Same place as always. Vagal butter state, losing his last crowns at the races. See, wasn't that easy? Could have said so right away. Go pickle spiders up your ass! Nothing hurts as much as love. Falls into the lead. Well, Rodlick, it seems you're a considerable sum in the red, but you shan't back out on that account. You, Rodlick? Henri Rodlick, artist, painter, debtor, and martyr to my art. At your service. Dandelion sent me. Oh, yes. Well, tell him his placards are done and safely hidden away. Yet, alas, I cannot fetch them, as a group of angry creditors has seized my home. Think I might have run into one of them. Then you know my predicament. And now, Count de Louverton has offered me the chance to win it all back. I'm to wager on a race. Generous. Not just anybody could afford to do that. De Louverton is not just anybody. He's Duke Sam's youngest son. Sam of the well-known family of gem dealers. One debt more or less makes little difference to him. What's there to worry about? This is your chance to settle up. Get a clean slate. We've had a spell of bad luck lately. Should I agree to De Louverton's offer and lose, I shall be in bondage to him for all time. Listen, all I really want are the placards. Tell me where you tucked them away and I'll be out of your hair. Forgive me, I cannot. I hid them with family heirlooms that would work those barbarians lurking outside my home into a slavering froth. Then go fetch them yourself. I'll wait here. If I show my face there without coin, they'll beat me to a pulp. I must win back my debt somehow, else I'll never return home. Let's do this. I'll enter the race. You'll bet on me, win, pay your debts, then give me the placards. You are that good a rider? Far from the worst. Go tell the Count you accept his offer. Come on. Hey there. Thank you. I, I never expected this. May I ask to what I owe this generosity? Let's just say I like to do a good deed from time to time. Can we get those placards now? I'll bring them to the Rosemary in time. Just as soon as I settle my obligations. Fine. See you there. Oh. <clears throat> Watch it. The madman running about town, getting beggars and prostitutes. I've heard ballads I've no about doubt you. it's a number of Menger's ideas for cleansing the city. Oh. Deep <laughs> Duo, Master Dandelion, and Priscilla! We 
start with G major and <sighs> I told you the piece is sad. Well, well. See, the crew's been hard at work. Not bad. No, no, not all. But I'd imagine something more, you know, more theatrical. What about Rotlick? Did you get the placards? Rotlick said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great! The best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. What about choreography? Prepared anything special for the opening? We haven't. But Polly has. She's priceless. Came in and brought the girls in line before I could say knickers. Premier will have the audience on their feet, on their knees, both at the same time. Never mentioned wanting to change the name. Rosemary and Time wasn't all bad. But it conjured images of Tamarian cuisine served by waitresses in peasant garb. Chameleon's a lot better for a cabaret, apart from which it emphasizes that the place has undergone a transformation. Just a better ring to it all round. Guess everything's ready. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to knit back home for my dress. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Why not? That's my boy. The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He saw right. And... she say anything about me? Uh-huh. She said you've gained some weight, and that you should bathe more often. Very funny, Geralt. Shove it. Well, well. Never thought I'd live to see the day. Dandelion living in monogamy. I've always been monogamous. Well, near enough. I just changed muses often. Priscilla, another one for your collection? No, she's its crowning glory. One thing's eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Oh, wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. You mean you didn't... Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? She's late, of course. She knew how important this night was to me. Of course she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. Takes time. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. <laughs> Master Dandelion! Priscilla! She's... What? Speak, man! She's badly, uh, been attacked! They, they took her to Vomerius Hospital! Attacked? She's hurt? Geralt, come with me, please. Of course. Let's go.